Hi, I'm Tealish and you're watching Coffee and Clicks. If you enjoy my content, please like and subscribe and click on the link tree found in the description of this video for links to my media content. Enjoy and don't forget, wake up and smell the clicks. Hi, I'm Tealish and you're watching Coffee and Clicks. Today we're going to be doing our first team build on the Coffee and Clicks YouTube channel. Um, I'm really excited for it. Um, this is a figure that we're going to be building around from Marvel Hero Clicks X-Men Rise and Fall, which is coming out um, pretty soon this summer. And um, let's take a look at the build. Let's, I'm really excited for it. Um, we're building around Emperor Gladiator. Uh, so uh, Emperor Gladiator Prime so let's take a look and uh, here's the first figure Emperor Gladiator himself at a hundred points he is uh, he has a cosmic energy team ability uh, he has the cosmic Imperial Guard ruler Shi'ar and soldier keywords he has eight range with a single target 14 speed with running shot 12 attack with penetrating psychic blast 18 defense with with uh, impervious and four damage with probability control he has a trait reluctant magister of the shiar empire leadership and mastermind when emperor gladiator uses leadership and succeeds you may instead generate a uh, zero set number zero zero nine shiar soldier on click number one which gives him mastermind fodder um, it also does a uh, pretty cool things when you when it's on the board because friendly characters with the Shi'ar keyword that occupy or adjacent to plus one one plus Shi'ar flag light objects modify damage plus one and those Shi'ar soldiers generate Shi'ar flag light objects um, then there's another trait you can't hurt me because I believe you can't hurt me when Emperor Gladiator hits give him a confidence token max one if Emperor Gladiator has a confidence token, he can reduce penetrating damage. When Emperor Gladiator would take damage, he may instead remove a confidence token to take no damage. So, um, very hard to kill this Emperor Gladiator for 100 points. Um, he's, he's, a tough, he's a tough guy to, to KO. So, um, that's Emperor Gladiator. Oh, and he, he has improved targeting through and blocking and and when he targets through blocking he destroys it so uh, that's something to keep in mind also that he targets through blocking very cool um, he is we're gonna be building a cosmic theme team today so let's take a look at the other figures that go on this cosmic team our next figure is Captain Marvel you know, I, I feel like Cosmic has been lacking leadership, and Emperor Gladiator brings that leadership to the Cosmic team. So now it makes it easier to build Cosmic teams because, um, I mean, if if you if you're if you're going to include Emperor Gladiator on your team, it makes it easy to build because he has leadership. So Captain Marvel is 95 points. She has Avengers team ability, seven range with a single target. Um, she has an assembled Avengers trait once per turn when Captain Marvel hits. After resolutions, you may roll a d6, five through six. If your force has three plus three or three plus friendly characters with the Avengers keyword, remove an action token from Captain Marvel or give an action token to a hit target. If your force has six plus, do both. Okay, so we don't really have to worry about that. This is not an Avengers theme team. So um, not too many Avengers on this team. I think she's the only one. 
Um, another trait, my cat is not a flurkin free once per, once per game generate a Chewy bystander. Um, and for those of you who don't know what Chewy does, Chewy has giant reach two and plasticity and uh, perplex and flurry with blades, claws, fangs, and um, and super senses for defense. So um, he's a bystander. Um, one thing that Captain Marvel gained from the, the new rules change is that um, bystanders now have um, basically uh, indomitable. So what, what used to be indomitable. So they can't push to KO themselves. So Chewy can go twice. I mean, I'll just search up Chewy so I can show you what Chewy does. That's Chewy, um, Flurry, Plasticity, and Giant Reach Two, so a very dangerous bystander, um, and that can that used to be able to only go once um, before uh, it has to clear, but now it can go twice before it has to clear. Okay, and there's Captain Marvel again. Um, she has two stock clicks, um, and she has prob, she has hypersonic speed and prob and invulnerable. Um, her her speed power higher hypersonic speed when captain marvel uses it after resolutions deal one penetrating damage to an opposing character she moved through if that character is a vehicle deal it three penetrating damage instead um, i've never actually seen a game where captain marvel <clears throat> um, flew through a vehicle and dealt it three penetrating damage but if you if you have done that before you, you know you want to share your story about how captain marvel flew through and destroyed a vehicle. Um, put that in the comments below. Um, but okay, so there's Captain Marvel. She has uh, that, so you know, she's really dangerous because she can she can fly through you with her hypersonic speed um, and her movement, um, deal you, uh, make her attack with her hypersonic speed. Then after resolutions, she may deal you one penetrating damage um, through the character that she she moved through. And then after that, she can generate a Chewy token, a, Ch a Chewy bystander, and then that Chewy can um, do his thing. So by flurry blades or, or whatever you need to do. So Captain Marvel can deal a lot of damage. She's a very good um, cosmic character to have on your team. Our next figure is Molecule Man. Okay, Molecule Man's great to have because um, he provides protection. He's got barrier. He's a great support piece. Um, so what he has going on for him, he has eight range with triple target, um, uh, cosmic energy uh, as a team ability, uh, seven, seven speed with stealth, 11 attack with in cap, which means he can triple target in cap you if he needs to. Um, 18 defense with barrier um, and one damage with outwit. Um, his trait, molecular ma manipulation, is what makes him really good. Smoke cloud as free, free roll a d6 and choose a number of non debris terrain markers within range up to the result. Replace those markers with any combination of hindering, water, or blocking terrain markers. At the end of your next turn, remove all markers placed this way. So um, you can possibly smoke cloud for free and then ter possibly turn all six of those smoke cloud markers into barrier markers if you need to. Plus he has barrier as his defense power so then he can power action to barrier for four more, um, possibly 10 total um, barrier tokens. He also, if somebody else is barriering, he can change those barrier tokens into water or hindering if he needs to. So Molecule Man can be very annoying for your opponent and uh, very good for you uh, for protection and um, for support. And he gets uh, perplexed later on in his dial, but usually it's at, you know, he's 30 points. So usually he's on his first click doing his, uh, what he needs to do. So, so far we have, um, Emperor Gladiator at 100, Captain Marvel at 95, and then Molecule Man. Our next figure is High Evolutionary. 
High Evolutionary is th also 30 points and has 7 range with 2 targets. He's also Cosmic Energy team ability. Uh, he's a decent attacker. Um, even though he's only 30 points, it seems like he's only got 2 clicks long. But he's got that stop click on his uh, second click. So um, this team is not very easy to KO because you have Emperor Gladiator who's pretty tough. Captain Marvel with, um, with 2 stop clicks. And High Evolutionary has got a stop click. Um, High Evolutionary has seven range. I mean, sorry, seven speed with running shot, eleven attack with penetrating psychic blast, which is pretty good. Pretty good attack value. Seventeen defense with energy shield deflection, and three damage with probability control. Um, he, during your force construction, you may add the isotope E to your force at no cost, and won't count towards your object total. Um, I don't think we need to do that with this team. There's uh, no. It's not really necessary to use the isotope E. Um, he also has a sideline active trait, which we're going to skip because he uh, he's, we're not using him on our sideline. Um, and his defense power is stop, invincible, and super senses. So basically, high evolutionary is just a, another attacker with prob um, and seven range that's uh, really tough to KO. Or, you know, even, I mean, if, if your opponent does choose to go after high evolutionary and um, spend the extra attacks to KO him, they're only getting 30 points. So, very cost-effective figure. Um, now, I was going to put Dark Phoenix on this team, but I actually opted to... I mean, you can if you want, but um, I opted to put Phoenix on this team for the TK. So, this is the regular Phoenix. Um, the Colossal Phoenix from uh, X-Men The Image Series. Um, so, Phoenix... Is I, I like her because she's got 10 range, triple target. Um, she does have the Power Cosmic and X-Men team abilities. She's 25 points. Um, she has Phasing Teleport, Telekinesis with 11 attack, 16 defense with a uh, with the, with basically stop and and no other defense powers. So she's pretty easy to KO, but you kind of leave her in the back. And then three damage with a Colossal Retaliation special, which says that free if no friendly character has been placed this turn um, choose an opposing character that attacked Phoenix or damaged a friendly character since your last turn place Phoenix within three squares of the chosen character that then make a range attack targeting that character and all other opposing characters within three three squares regardless of line of fire instead of normal damage deal each hit character one penetrating damage for each action token they have hit targets that can use incapacitate, mind control, outwit, or penetrating psychic blast, modify their combat values minus one until your next turn. Okay, so um, that's a pretty decent uh, retaliation power. It's not the best retaliator, but I'm mainly using Phoenix for the TK. And and uh, I think she's a really good re uh, tele telekinesis user for 25 points. Not only does she have a 10 range TK, but she also has um, colossal stamina, or well, not really colossal stamina anymore, but uh, the giant size, the new giant size um, ability that um, th that comes with the new rules, the 2021 uh, comprehensive rules, which states that uh, I mean I'm, I don't know if I'm stating this exactly, but uh, when you um, if you are giant size or colossal, you can roll a d6 and um, take tokens off yourself. Um, uh, for, I think it's a, uh, three, four, no, I think it's a three, four, five, or six. If she rolls a three, four, five, or six, she takes a token off herself at, at the beginning of each turn. So that's possibly a TK every single turn, you know, um, or highly likely, you know, most turns you're going to have a, a T a 10 range TK, um, because she can take a token off herself. Uh, with her giant size, with her colossal size. So I really like that with Phoenix, and um, it's great in combination with Emperor Gladiator and Captain Marvel because you can TK them around. Um, and, uh, and you know, you don't want to get e either one of those, um, Captain Marvel or Emperor Gladiator, you don't want them to be tied up. Uh, you, don't, you want them to be able to move around freely. So the TK is really helpful on this team. Um, then we have our next figure. Oh, so those are our five figures. Actually, those are our five main characters. So we have Emperor Gladiator, Captain Marvel, Molecule Man, 
High Evolutionary, and Phoenix. That's a plus five Cosmic Theme. Now we have 20 points left. That's, that's 280 points. We have 20 points left. So um, we're going to put some equipment here. Um, I chose the Silver Surfboard. And uh, I've seen some people talk about this with Emperor Gladiator. Um, the Silver Surfboard gives hypersonic speed and flying. Now Emperor Gladiator already flies, but he doesn't have hypersonic speed. Um, it says when this character uses hypersonic speed, if it doesn't have the cosmic keyword, after resolutions roll a d6, one, one or a two give this character an action token. Well, we don't have to worry about that because Emperor Gladiator is a cosmic keyworded figure. So if we just if, if we just look back to Emperor Gladiator real quick, putting giving him hypersonic speed is really good because he's got a 14 speed. So he can get across the map pretty quickly. And he's got an eight range. So that halves itself to four range. But that, that gives him an 18 square swing because he can, he can hypersonic 14 squares and then shoot for four um, through blocking. Um, so giving him hypersonic speed is really good. Um, and also, you know, if he hits, then he gets that confidence token. Um, and also you have TK um, where you can TK him back and do kind of a yo-yo thing with hypersonic and TK. Not to mention Captain Marvel already has hypersonic. So you can yo-yo her around as well. Okay. So this team is kind of a TK, TK hypersonic themed team. Um, and the next, and you know, speaking of TK, the next equipment that we're going to use for five points is the spin ring. Okay. And the spin ring uh, gives telekinesis and free choose a character within three squares in line of fire. Place that character in an adjacent square. So I would probably give this to High Evolutionary. Um, you know, and you could you could equip both on the first turn. You could you could t you could use Phoenix to TK the hyperson to TK the surfboard to Emperor Gladiator, and he can equip that. And then you can maybe um, have Captain Marvel go and hypersonic picking up the spin ring and then dropping it off under. High evolutionary and then high evolutionary can equip that. So there are there is a way to equip both equipment. Um, the reason why I picked the spin ring is just to give you some extra TK and also, you know, being able to um, place a character in an adjacent square is great. You know, because um, especially with the changes to hypersonic speed with the new rules, um, you only break away on a four, five, or six. So. Um, you know, I was worried about that. I was, I was thinking, you know, if you, you know, if you don't want to risk failing a breakaway roll with hypersonic, you know, if someone ties you up, you can just spin yourself one square and then, you know, Captain Marvel can do her thing and, or so can Emperor Gladiator. Uh, this, um, the last thing that we have, we, we so that's 15 points. We, we have five points left. That's 295 points. We have five points left. And so my last choice for those five points was a um, location bonus. And I picked the Reign of Terror. So the Reign of Terror location bonus um, says at the beginning of the game, choose a friendly character once per turn. When that character rolls for leadership, you may reroll the result. If that character is named Dr. Doom, they increase their role by, for leadership by plus one. Well, um, we don't have Dr. Doom on this team, but we do have Emperor Gladiator who has leadership. And being able to uh, roll that leadership twice increases his chances of generating Shi'ar soldiers, um, which works synergistically on this team because um, it gives him mastermind fodder and it helps him generate those um, flag objects. So um, that's, the, um, that's the team. That's everybody on the team. So uh, just to quickly, sh yeah, so um, so the team is Emperor Gladiator. Uh, I'll just go over it real quickly again. Emperor Gladiator, Captain Marvel, Molecule Man, High Evolutionary, Phoenix, 
you know, and you can play around with this. You can put Dark Phoenix if you want. Um, Silver Surfboard. Um, the Spin Ring. And the Reign of Terror uh, location bonus. Now, you can also play around with that too. In, instead of the Spin Ring and the, and the Reign of Terror, um, you could take those 10 points and use the Carnage Symbiote and put that on Captain Marvel. That's another variation or possibility. But I kind of like this better, having having the flexibility with the spin ring and having the syner synergy with the um, Reign of Terror location bonus. So that's all, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me just put this back on Emperor Gladiator because uh, that's who we're talking about today. Um, so you've been watching Coffee and Clicks, and you've been watching the very first team build uh, of Coffee and Clicks, uh, a team build based around Emperor Gladiator Prime from X-Men Rise and Fall, Marvel Hero Clicks. Um, I hope you enjoy, and don't forget everybody, wake up and smell the clicks. <laughs>